Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install macOS Sonoma on VMware. macOS Sonoma is the latest version of macOS which was released beta a few days ago and here is the ISO file. Now these are the requirements to install macOS Sonoma on VMware. First we need macOS Sonoma ISO file. Second we need VMware workstation player which is free. And lastly we need VMware unlocker. By default, you shouldn't be able to install macOS Sonoma on VMware, but with VMware Unlocker, we should be able to do this. Now, I'll provide the link to each and every one of these files in the video description so you can download and install along. First, let's install VMware. Now click on finish. Okay, so head back to your download folder. Now we have to extract VMware Unlocker. So I'm just going to right click and then extract with WinRAR. Extracted. Now let's open the folder. And if you look closely, you can see win-install, which is a Windows command file. Now right click on it and then run as administrator. This will take some time, so you just have to wait. After that, we can close this and then open VMware. Continue. Finish. Now we have to create a new virtual machine. So click on create a new virtual machine. Now select installer this image file, browse. And then we select our ISO file over here. Next. We select Apple Mac OS X. And then set the version which is Mac OS 14, the latest version. Next. We can give it whatever name we want. So Mac OS 14 is fine. Next. Set the disk size. I'm going to give this 60 gigabytes and that should be okay. Next. Customize hardware and here is where we set how much RAM we want to give to our virtual machine Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your resources to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer So I'm going to give it about 5 gigabytes of RAM since I have 16 gigabytes on my PC and Processor section here number of cores. I'm going to give it 3 and that should be okay And now we can click on close also make sure you keep note of the location right here we're going to locate these parts and then make changes to few things there so let's click on finish now we are going to open the part which we just checked now which is in documents in my case virtual machines mac os 14 and you can see lots of files over here now locate mac os 14 sonoma.vmx now you can see a file over here called Mac OS 14 and this is a VMware virtual machine configuration file you can see over here 2 kilobytes. Now let's right click and then open with notepad. Okay here we are. Now scroll down to the end and then we have to add a new line. So the line is SMC version equal to zero in quotes and we can control s to save now we're done we can close this close this and we can start our virtual machine so click on your machine and then click on play now select your language for installation continue Now go to Dix Utility, continue. And then you see VMware Virtual SATA hard drive here. Now let's erase the drive. Let's call this Mac OS 14. Set the format to APFS and then erase. Done. Now we can close this. 
install Mac OS 14 beta, continue. Now agree to the terms. Select our disk and then continue. Now this may take a while. It will restart severally while installing but you just have to wait patiently. After the installation, you can set up and then start using your Mac OS Sonoma machine. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. Now we can set up our country, region and set based on our preference. Set up later. I'm just going to skip this. Agree to the terms. Now set up a username and password. Now switch between the light mode and the dark mode. You can change this later in the settings. I'm just going to go with dark mode and continue. So basically, this is how to install Mac OS Sonoma version 14, which is currently the latest version of Mac OS on VMware. If you had any issues while trying to install, don't forget to use the comment section to share the error you got and we will be glad to assist you. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.